good morning. Uh, it's Monday. It's a new start of a new week. So a new Vlogmas episode. So what I thought I would do this week, I'm going to show to you guys everything that I eat. If you're ready, let's get starting. It's 11 a.m. I went for an hour and a half run this morning and now I'm starting to get hungry and I'm gonna have something for breakfast. So on Monday for breakfast I had a plate of oranges, clementines and I also had a mango with it. And then later for lunch I had sweeter fruits. I had two bananas, six dates and two pears and it's really filling, very sweet, very satisfying. And then we were really busy that day and so for dinner when we came back we just made smoothie bowls. Um, earlier I also had some figs, uh, dried figs as a snack. Earlier that day I had dried figs as a snack and I also snacked on some rice crackers, corn crackers. And then when we came home we made these beautiful smoothie bowls with beetroot, banana, ginger, I put some mulberries on top, buckwheat, dried bananas, fresh bananas, cacao nibs and also some coconut yogurt. On Tuesday I had an amazing plate of fruit for breakfast it was like a prep breakfast thing i like to have breakfast quite late so that was after my morning run and i had two oranges some kumquats a kiwi and a pitaya or dragon fruit it was really really nice and yummy super juicy and yeah i've been really loving starting my day with fresh fruit as you can see then for lunch i had something similar to the previous day i had two bananas six dates and some apple and after that in the end of the afternoon i came back from a photo shoot and i was really hungry so i had a snack before dinner and i had a pear and some more dried figs i didn't eat all of that but i did eat probably six or eight of them and then as a pre-dinner snack i had I had two flaxseed crackers with some avocado and cucumber and then for dinner I made a lentil dish with coconut milk, onions and curry powder. It was really really creamy and yummy and we had that with some oven roasted potatoes and cauliflower. And then we also had some vegan cheese, uh, which I did try a little bit and was really yummy, as well as just some salad, and we ate that with tahini as well. It was super yummy and satisfying and simple, easy to make, really, really nice. And then in the evening, I had a mint tea with some vegan chocolate. On Wednesday, I had a big plate of fruit for breakfast slash lunch, because I had my first meal pretty late during the day it was four oranges four clementines and half a pineapple super juicy and delicious later that day i had three pears as a snack the pears at the moment are really really good and juicy and then for dinner i was really hungry because i didn't really eat that much that day and so i had a massive banana and blueberry smoothie that was really delicious and along with that i had a big big bowl of salad with cucumber zucchini tomatoes avocado and i had that with oven roasted vegetables I had some root vegetable and potatoes with rosemary that i put in the salad as well on thursday for breakfast i started something new i started incorporating celery juice in my morning routine um, cold pressed celery juice only celery I have been listening to the Medical Medium podcast and I'm really interested in what he talks about, about the celery juice thing. So I'm trying to implement it into my life and my diet to see if I see any improvement with my skin issues and um, as well as other issues that I've been talking about on my Instagram. And then I also had some homemade kombucha. And then for breakfast, I had a really, really yummy smoothie bowl that had bananas and berries and more banana on top lychee dried bananas pomegranate it was really really delicious and then in the afternoon for lunch 
I had some rice crackers with avocado and tomatoes and oregano, salt, pepper. It was really, really yummy and I was still hungry so I made some more um, with again some avocado and this time cucumber. I did add as well um, some of my mom's sun-dried tomato hummus that she made the other day and it was really yummy and then for dinner I was at my parents I had a really big salad I also snacked a lot on carrots and hummus while I was making that I had a massive salad with lettuce carrots I had some avocado in my salad and then on top I put some cooked celery and some potatoes which was delicious finally on friday i had my celery juice again and i've found that removing the leaves makes the juice a lot easier to drink and less bitter in the end uh, that's why my juice was so green is because i left the leaves and then later in the afternoon i had my first meal and it was a really big smoothie i had like three jars like that like about over a liter of smoothie that had bananas a persimmon or two persimmons from my neighbor's tree and some apricots i think it was and berries then for a snack later i had three or four apples in the afternoon i had a smoothie that was with bananas and berries and a little bit of pineapple and then uh, for dinner i had a salad um, that had kale lettuce cherry tomatoes shredded carrots some millet some quinoa and a maple syrup and mustard dressing this is a salad i prepared for the next day for a dinner party that i was going to so i had some of that on that dinner because i had a party that day as well and i wasn't sure what was going to be available that night so i made sure i ate this before going because i didn't know if there was going to be any vegan options and if there was going to be a lot so i really like to eat before i go somewhere just to make sure and then to bring to the party that night i had made a vegan quiche which is like a cheese tart my quiche was gluten-free i made the crust myself it had peas, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and leek. And it was really, really good. So at the party, I did end up having some of that quiche, which really turned out great. And I'm really happy with the recipe. At the party, there was also some homemade hummus and some energy bowls. So I did snack a little bit at the party and I had two slices of my quiche, um, but I didn't really have a big meal then so it was really good that i had made sure to eat something before so that's it for this week i really hope you guys enjoy watching this video of everything that i ate this week i decided to keep the weekend out because the weekend is usually a little bit more all over the place i'm here and there i'm going to friends and family and i have some christmas parties so i just really wanted to enjoy my time with the people around me and not have to worry about bringing a camera in there However, I'm going to be filming what I eat for Christmas, so that's something that's going to be coming up uh, later this week. Let me know in the comments if it was interesting to you and if some of you are also doing the celery juice thing or have heard about medical medium, that's something that's really new to me and I'd love to learn more about it through not only listening to the, the podcast or even reading the books, but also maybe through you guys who have maybe more experience than I have. Uh, with this method or guidelines or whatever you want to call it so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the videos i make oh and in the meantime since i'm not going to see you guys anymore and after christmas um happy christmas everyone and have a beautiful time with your family and loved ones and yeah so see you after christmas bye